Sexual dimorphism in birds can be manifested in size, plumage, or vocal differences between males and females. Size dimorphism varies among taxa, with males typically being larger. Plumage dimorphism, in the form of ornamentation of coloration, also varies, though males are typically more ornamented or brightly colored of the two. Vocal dimorphism, which is the least common of the three, is where males usually have a more melodic or robust call different from the females. Let's look at the most extreme cases of these three dimorphisms and give an explanation as to why they are present. Starting with the most noticeable sexual dimorphism, we have the plumage dimorphism of the peacock. Like many other birds, male peacocks have a striking coloration that contrasts with the species' dull colored females. But of course, what makes the peacock an extreme case of sexual dimorphism is the male's long, showy feathers. Peacocks use their feathers to attract peahens. The peacocks with showier feathers are able to attract mates, so they are the ones that have offspring and pass on the long feather genes to the next generation. Now, one would think that these would not appear in evolution, being that they would be too noticeable to predators, but these same peacocks also pass down survival traits. Peacocks can fold up their tails, which lessens the danger of being noticed by predators or getting caught in bushes. In addition, the peahens are much duller and more camouflaged because they are the ones who guard the eggs and chicks. Survival of the next generation is very important. Moving on to vocal dimorphism, we have the white bellbird, the loudest bird in the world. The bellbird's call can reach 125 decibels, which is on par with ambulance sirens, thunder, and loud rock concerts. Researchers observed that the pigeon-sized male bellbirds use their loudest call not for long-distance communication, but for female bellbirds that had perched close to them. The female bellbird could be sitting near a loud male to assess it up close, the researchers say, but why she risks hearing damage by doing so is still unclear. Moreover, how a half-pound bird produces such a loud call is also a mystery at the moment, the researchers add, although they have noticed that the birds have unusually thick and developed abdominal muscles and ribs. The white bellbird is another example of the consequences of sexual selection. Sexual selection takes place when males compete for mates, driving the evolution of truly bizarre and exaggerated traits, including the peacock's tail and the bellbird's ridiculously loud singing. Finally, we have the size dimorphism amongst raptors. When it comes to being extreme, this one is a little different from the previous two. Rather than showing the biggest male compared to female, this one completely flips the script. In most birds, males are larger than females, but with some species, females are actually bigger than males. This trait is most prevalent in raptors, but no one is certain why there is this reverse size dimorphism. However, there are a couple hypotheses as to why this is the case. These include the thought that females are larger to protect them from aggressive males that are well equipped with sharp talons and beaks, and the thought that size differences allow the two sexes to hunt different prey and thus reduce competition for food. Well, there you have it, everyone. This has been an explanation over extreme cases in bird sexual dimorphism. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, and consider subscribing if you are new. Not only is it free, but I greatly appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think of these cases in the comments down below. And until next time, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a wonderful day.